Okay, this is a problem. This is kind of a problem. And we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lagan. This is Grounded. And today, we're going to be doing some home improvements. So if you like building episodes, this is the one for you. But don't worry, there will be some adventuring in there as well. First things first, we need to improve the house. I did already. Did it. <laughs> Look at the bottom. It's much wider. It looks like I live in a church now. Or maybe a school. An old school. Or definitely a church. But yeah, I went ahead and made the base a little wider. Because things are getting expensive. So I needed to up the production of my house. And I've got four spinning wheels over here. I was able to move the cooker into the house. I've got two stoves going now. And two grinders. So I've doubled my production in most cases. In some place, cases, I've even quadrupled it. We can still go upstairs right here. I just moved the ladder a little bit. And upstairs, the same as it ever was. Still got plenty of room up here for just decorative things. So it's fine upstairs. But downstairs, much better. I love it. I want to do something with the floor today. Uh, but before we start that, I also learned from our last episode, if you missed it, it's on the screen. Go check it out. I learned something with these pebble turrets, that they are awesome, and I'm definitely going to be using it in home defense. However, how I currently have it set up, let me get up here, is uh, not good. If there's stuff attacking over there, I'm blocking it with the other structure with my turret on it. So, like, I really can't attack stuff on the other side. I really need one central. I need the pebble turret central, and we might not ever use the pollen turret, but the pebble pebble one needs to be above this gate. So I'm thinking a new structure is going to have to be built. That's the thought. So let's see what we can come up with. Thinking we could plop a door frame right here, and then another one right there, just like that. Then we could probably do a stem wall, a half a stem wall. Yeah, now it's as tall as the gate is, so that's good. All right, step one complete. We're gonna need some flooring now, so let's throw some floor up there. Boom, perfect. Then what we'll do is we'll have a ladder on this side, and a ladder on this side, and up there is where we'll put our pebble turret. We'll do some slanted ramp so it can look straight down. Um, and then we'll ha we'll be able to see both left and right of the yard, and we'll get rid of the other stuff that's out there currently. But yeah, that's the plan. So now I've just got to fill this all in. It's just weed stems and crude rope, I think, for the whole thing. So I've got some weed stems right here and crude rope inside. We should have this filled in in no time. There we go. Do a little there. Right up there. More weed stems. We might have to cut down... Some husky weeds outside, but that's all right. No problem. We got plenty around here. That's why I like living here. It's so easy to build. So many, so many different resources nearby. All right, that's good. Uh, this is good, and that's good. All right, now we need to do a ladder to get up there. Then some ramps. Then the turret, and that's gonna be done. I need to grab four acorn tops out of my chest, and I need four more weed stems, and I'm down to just one. So let me go chop something down out here. Oh, it looks like I did some chopping. On a previous episode. Uh-oh. Well, you remember how I was saying there's plenty of them out here? There still are. I've just got to go over here a little closer to the fence. There's one nearby over here. We just got to watch out for spiders. Look at this little guy. The Orb Weaver Jr. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, so they started putting these guys around the map now. And the Orb Weaver Jr., not the adult, but these guys actually have a venom attack. So you got to watch out because you will get poisoned by them now. And we're chopping. We're chopping. We're chopping. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's terrifying when it happens. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Come here, you. Give me that. I need some more spider chunks anyways. That's how I make my uh, my repair glue. All right, back to chopping. No problem. Timber. All right, this should give us plenty to finish our build. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. I can only carry five, but I think that's all we need. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop it, you little monster. All right, here, let's hit this up. All right, that's one ladder done. Second ladder, done. Now we can come up here and get a better look at what's going on. I mean, look at that, big wolf spider. Let's take him out. Let's see how this goes down. Mr. Wolf Spider. Boom, boom, pow, bam. Is he stuck? That's all right, we got it. You're not gonna do nothing. Can't do nothing while I'm in here. Got him. All right, awesome. Awesome. One less wolf spider to worry about. Plus, we got some more spider chunks. Love it. All right, let me break down all this stuff right here. Then we'll go back up top, make some fresh ramps to put the turret on. I can fill all this in with some spike traps. 
And eventually we're going to get raided. And I think I'm going to be ready for it. Super ready for it. Super duper ready for it. Extremely super ready for it. I don't know if clay is stronger than pebble. It probably is. I'll just do clay ramps right there. Fill those in. There we go. Then we can just take our turret and move it up top. All right. Turret on. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I mean, right below me is kind of a problem. I can't go directly below me. But, I mean, look at this. I've got full range of the whole fence line now which is great. So maybe I can adjust it just a little bit to try to get directly below me, but I think this might be as good as it gets, but this is pretty good. I think that's a pretty good solution. I like it. Looks nice and clean, matches the fence. Although I'm thinking about taking this fence down um, and doing mushroom walls all, all over here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it yet, but I think that might be the play. Now I wanna do something different with the floor inside. So I need some lint rope, which means I need some lint, which means we need to go to the upper backyard to get some more lint, which is exactly what we're gonna do. But while we're over there, I'm dying to find out if I can one shot kill some of those scarab beetles because during one of the updates, it just, it changed and I'm not able to one shot kill them anymore. So I upgraded my bow all the way to a level nine. And I think what the problem was, was actually the feather hat. Yeah, so I got the marksman cap and I actually upgraded it to a level seven sleek. When you go past level five, it gives you the choice between sleek and bulky. If you choose sleek, you're going to get a bonus added to a piece of equipment um, that you're working on. And in this case, for the crow feather hat, you get the plus bow attack bonus. So I think I was missing that, which previously just came with the hat, but you have to get it past level five now to get that back. So I think we're going to be fine with just one-shotting the uh, little scarabs now. So I'm going to kill some scarabs while we're over there and whatever else we can collect while we're over there because it's not the funnest place in the backyard to go to, but there's some good resources over there. So we're going resource gathering in the upper backyard. We are now in the upper backyard. We're going to do some scarab hunting and try to find some lint while we're up here. Uh, I want to thank you guys that have been enjoying the grounded stuff and not just grounded, but crafting survival games in general. We did stranded deep. I know I said I was going to do the forest, but the game is so dark. I was really having a hard time editing it. I just couldn't get it to where I wanted to get it to. Uh, but we'll try something else alongside of grounded. I'm not giving up on the forest, but I'm trying to find the right mods to make it watchable. Because right now it's just like the game is so dark and you got to do a lot of stuff in caves and it's just really hard to see. Which doesn't make for a great video. So give me some time with that. Um, we'll fire up something else alongside Grounded, like I said. But there should be a scarab nearby, so let me concentrate. It's like a plastic spork around here somewhere. Yeah, right there. And then usually I find the scarab nearby. So let's see if we can find him. And fingers crossed on it being one shot kills. Because it's almost impossible if you hit him with one arrow to hit him with another. Because he's going to run off like crazy. Uh, gas arrows work pretty good, though. There he is right there. Okay. All right. Let's stalk our prey. Right there on the other side of this little lump. we got to be careful because he could turn around and start coming right at us. Then he'll definitely see us and freak out. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. Hold on. Here we go, Mr. Scarab. I just want to kill you with one shot. Oh, you stupid blade of grass. Yes, we're back to one shot. So that could be taking my bow up all the way to a level nine. They did that. But more than likely, it's the crow's feather hat, at least getting it past level five so you can get that bonus on it. Try that if you're having trouble with the scarabs. But we got a scarab. We'll get a couple more before we leave, too. While we're over here, though, we might as well go up on the porch because that is where we're going to find some lint at. So let's go up there. We're on the side of the porch now, and some of you may or may not remember this, but last time we were over here, this was completely barren. There was nothing, just dirt. And it was flat as it could be. So it was just flat dirt. So as you can see, they have terraformed over here. And they have added all kinds of vegetation over here. So they are working on our next big update to the yard. Yeah, basically look like this, except completely flat. So they're working on it. There's been some leaks and some rumors, and I don't know how true or credible these leaks are, or rumors for that matter. But the rumor that's going around right now is that we could see the 1.0 release, that's the full release of the game, as early as August. That's just a couple of months away, so... That would be pretty surprising. Rumor has it, this is gonna be an entrance to a lab. If you put your uh, character up close to it, and you can also use uh, some cheats to kind of see that there is a doorway and opening. You can kind of see it as we're jumping. 
that'll get you uh, back in there, but you, there's nothing in there yet. But it seems like they're working on that being a lab right there. If you put your character up close to this door, you can actually hear a change in the music. Uh, oftentimes when you go in like labs or different biomes, areas, the music changes. So there is a music change if you stand right next to that door. So might be going in the shed or under the shed soon. Why would you do that, Ant? I wasn't bothering you. Now look at you. Look at you now. What an idiot. All right, we're just going to run like, we're going to run this like a gauntlet. We're just going to go in there and get as much as we can and get out. Now, the cool thing is they, they drop a lot more lint now than they used to. So this is good news. And there's not a lot of lint on the map, so it's great that the piles are a little bit bigger. Although, doesn't seem to be huge. We've got nine so far. And the cost of making lint rope has gone down. So those two things together actually make lint not so bad anymore. Oh, that's a good stack. Come on, man. Why is there an ant up here? Leave me alone. Chop, chop. Grab, 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 grab. Ant, stop it. Don't have time for this, ant. Everyone stop or I'll shoot. All right. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay, great. We got 24 from just right there. That's pretty good. That's really good. And we're off the porch. Now, there usually is a scarab right around here as well along this bag. So we'll just be careful as we're getting close to this giant bag of fertilizer here. Thinking the next uh, mixer we're going to do is the one over at the haze. While I'm over there, I'm missing a auxiliary chip. So we'll try to find that too. I don't see him, but we'll keep an eye out for him. But while we're here, this is where I wanted to go anyways. The giant gardening glove because more lint right here. Oh, no, don't fall off. Oh, we got to go down there and get that. No. Okay, I got the other two at least. All right, we got 32. That means we'll have 33, I think. 34 once we go down there and get the other two. Geronimo! Ow. Okay, we're down in the pit now. I don't know where the lint went. Is this lint? No. Where did it go? I didn't jump down here for nothing. Where's the lint? Wait, I see one. I see one. Okay, there's one. They both probably fell very similar to each other, so the other one's got to be around here somewhere. I'll find it if it's the last thing I do. Okay, it turns out I won't find it. So, there's that. But I just saw a shiny beetle go walking this way, so let's go get the beetle. Oh, he's coming right for us. Oh, he saw me. No! Oh, I overshot him. He's digging. No, he's not. He's stuck. He's stuck. Got him. All right, perfect. Everything went as planned there. Got you. Lucky for me, I have a level eight salty hammer. So black ox beetle, prepare to get boinked. There's one right there. See? Hey, friend. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm just going to run up on him. Just run up on him. I'm in charge now. Bam! 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 What you want to do? Well, you missed. Where's he going? Oh, he's going to start hunking boulders at us now that he's got some distance. Don't you do it. He's doing it. Ow, oh, I blocked it. I blocked it. Perfect. Perfect. You don't stand a chance, big man. Ah. Ah. And that's how that's done. Easy. That was nice. That went a lot better than I thought it would. I don't think he did a lick of damage to us. Maybe maybe just the smallest of licks. Oh, there's another one. I, f I found another one. We might as well. I mean, we might as well. He does seem to be having a hard time. Oh, not anymore. Ah, ah, ah. Ow, he stabbed me. Take this. Take some of that. A little of this. A little more of that. How about some more? And one more. Uh-oh. Spicy larva's killing me. Spicy larva's killing me. Hey, I got a new mutation. Wow. There's another... There's a, definitely a beetle down here. Right down here somewhere. We should find it. I see him. I see him. He's over here. Right there. Right there. And fire. Missed. Okay. Oh, he stopped. Got him. Perfect. Yeah. Beetle hunting's going great today. All right, cool. So that's seven... Seven shells. We'll bring those back home. We got all the lint we needed. Killed a couple of black ox beetles, too. Check this out over here. Here's one of the mixers. So I, I guess... I mean, it's possible. We could see some black ox beetles. We could see some spicy larvae. There's definitely wolf spiders over here. So this one's going to be tough. Um, definitely some... Probably some dust mites, too. But we could do very similar to what I did over there in the 
haze and we could build a wall it's a long wall but i could definitely build a wall and that way we only have to fight them from the front and do the turret strategy again on this one so this one could be a lot of fun oh <gasps> pollen oh my goodness just sitting here like candy all right this might be a good pollen drop all right yeah the yellow someone did say in the comment sections the yellow dandelions will have pollen nearby so that's Hey, there's a tip for everybody. If you want some pollen, look for the yellow dandelion. I see another yellow dandelion. Let's check this out. Let's see if this is accurate. There's another one right here too. All right, hold on. Could pollen be this easy to collect? Could it be? It is. Yeah, look, there's another one. Yellow dandelion. All right, well, we know the secret to pollen collecting now. We might get to use our pollen turret after all, one of these days. And now I've got to figure out how to set that up to where it's not interfering with the... Uh, with the pebble turret, here we go. Another one, nice. All right, so that's how you do it. Okay, we're back home. Now I can turn this lint into rope, just like this. Boom, 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 boom. It only costs two now. I think it used to cost three or four lint to make one rope. So the, the price is definitely cheaper. We might as well just make all the rope we can. Why not? Okay, the lint rope is done. I was thinking a checkerboard pattern might look kind of cool in here. So I'm gonna have to move a couple of things to get started. But like if we were to, okay, so we can break this. I wanna try this new burr floor out, see how it looks. Very good, it looks very good. Oh, there is a gap though, that's a problem. Now I'm gonna have to do the whole floor in it, uh-oh. <laughs> Or I could just break this one and go back to um, stone floor. I wanted to do checkerboard. I like would put one here and then put one there. You know, checkerboard. Let's let's keep trying that and see what it ends up looking like. But I might have to I might have to get rid of all the stone because it's not lining up perfectly. Well, this isn't gonna work. I do like the idea. I like the design look, but um, they sit higher, so they're definitely not lined up. So as you can tell, like with the oven, this oven's sitting like uh, you know taller than that. And every time I walk, I'm going up and then down and up and then down as I get on these different things. So I'm gonna have to do the whole floor like this, uh, or I could go all the way back to stone, but I wanted to finish it to give you a look uh, to see what I was going for. But I think I'll just change the whole floor to this because these guys are stronger. This is the strongest flooring we have in the game. So I think it's worth upgrading. That's pretty much all of the improvements I wanted to do to the house today, uh, but it would be a shame not to test out this new turret style that we have set up here. And there is a way to force a raid upon yourself anytime you want one. And that is with a new piece of equipment called the waft emitter. And I'm gonna build one right now. And then we're gonna attract some bugs over here. We're gonna get up in the turret and we're going to slaughter them. So here it is, the waft emitter. You can put this thing anywhere you want to. Anywhere in the yard you want and you can attract a raid and the, the, their objective is they're gonna try to break this thing. So we'll just put this close by the turret and we should be able to defend it pretty easily. It takes two ladybug parts, a ladybug head, some tough gunk, and five clay. Tough gunk, I think, is the same as just bug goop, and they renamed it, because that's all I had in my chest, and I don't have bug goop anymore, so I don't know. This thing looks gnarly. <laughs> it is a pile of clay with a dead, decomposed ladybug on it with a bunch of wings and just different bug antennas sticking out of it. That's supposed to attract bugs based on the type of bug parts you put in it. So I think right now there's just uh, a certain type of bugs that you can call like a list of, you know, like five or six bugs. Like I can't call scarab beetles over here. That would be awesome. I can't call black ox beetles over here. That would be awesome. But what I can call over here is bees. So if I deposit, let's call it... I don't know, let's just do all the bees. Rage added, okay, I don't understand all this. Hang on now. Okay, the more you add, the more the bugs enraged meter goes up, it looks like. What if I do a stack? I was wondering if you could just do a stack of nine. You can't, so you have to just individually put them in. And I think you can also add other bugs with it. So if you want bees to come and you want termites to come and you want black ants to come, you could put in those parts and those bugs will come. I'm just gonna put in a few bees and see what happens. It says unleash waft. Here we go. Okay, the waft has been unleashed and eventually we're gonna get raided. And I think I'm gonna be ready for it. Super ready for it. Super ready for it. To the turret. Oh yeah, look, it's got some stink coming off of it. That is a pretty cool thing. So the bees should come, but I don't know which way they're coming from. It doesn't really matter because they're gonna end up trying to attack that thing or me or me. Why me? Attack that thing, not me. Oh, they're attacking the house. Excuse me, I was wrong. 
Okay, this is a problem. This is kind of a problem. Because I was told they're supposed to attack the Awaf emitter. Look at my... What have you done? Oh, this is a disaster. This is a disaster. You having fun on my trampoline? Get down from there. They're breaking my bedroom. Yeah, I wasn't prepared for this. They're so enraged. They're so enraged. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else want some? On the plus side, I got a lot of pollen. I got 12 pollen. Every single bee that I killed dropped pollen. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? This didn't turn out to be a bad day after all. Because whereas I have to repair everything now, I think there's a bee stuck somewhere in the house. I have now figured out how to get pollen. Whatever you want it. There is definitely a bee somewhere still. So I don't think it's over. It says payback arrived. Where is this last bee at? Oh, he's up there attacking my my bouncy. No! My tower. Yeah. Get off the tower. Yeah, I got him. I got his attention now. Over here, Mr. B. No! 